What's up, my fellow lost souls? Today we going to share with you the top 5 worst ways to find your purpose in life. You know, those terrible methods that will have you feeling more lost and confused than a dog trying to do calculus. So, grab your kale smoothies, sit back, and get ready to cringe. Number 5. Blindly following someone else's path. Listen. Unless you're a shape-shifting lizard person, you're not going to have the same purpose in life as someone else. Sure, it's easy to get swept up in the glamour of Instagram influencers and their perfect lives, but trust me, their life ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Plus, have you tried kale smoothies? Gross. Avoiding blindly following someone else's path can be challenging, but it's an important step to take if you want to find your own purpose in life. Here are a few tips to help you avoid falling into this trap. Take some time to reflect on what truly matters to you and what you're passionate about. Social media can be a powerful tool for connecting with others and finding inspiration, but it can also be a breeding ground for comparison and envy. Be mindful of the content you consume and how it makes you feel. Remember, social media is often a highlight reel and doesn't necessarily reflect reality. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and take risks. This can help you learn and grow, and can also lead you down unexpected paths that may ultimately lead to your purpose in life. Number 4. Relying on external validation. If you're looking for validation to find your purpose, you're barking up the wrong tree. I mean, if you're still waiting for your mom to tell you what to do with your life, you're in for a rude awakening. Unless your mom is Elon Musk, she probably doesn't have all the answers. It's time to take ownership of your own life and make your own decisions. So, what can you do instead? Here are a few ideas. Learn to celebrate your own accomplishments, regardless of whether or not others recognize them. Take pride in your own achievements and recognize your own strengths and talents. This can help boost your self-confidence and decrease your need for external validation. Be mindful of your own thoughts and emotions. Learn to recognize when you're seeking external validation and why. This can help you identify your own needs and desires and take action to fulfill them. Surround yourself with people who uplift and support you, instead of tearing you down. Number 3. Waiting for a sign or epiphany. Waiting for a sign from the universe seems easier than actually taking action. But let me tell you, the only sign you'll get is the one that says, sorry, we're closed. It's time to stop waiting for something to happen and start making things happen for yourself. Get out there and try new things, even if it means making a few mistakes along the way. Here are a few ideas to avoid this. Instead of waiting for a sign or epiphany, take action toward your goals and dreams. Don't wait for the perfect moment or inspiration to strike, create your own momentum. Fear of failure can often hold us back from taking action. But failure is a natural part of the learning process and can often lead us to unexpected breakthroughs. Don't limit yourself to what you know or are comfortable with. Try new things, explore different interests, and expand your horizons. Seeking guidance from mentors, coaches, or counselors can be incredibly helpful in finding direction and purpose in life. They can offer insights, advice, and support as you navigate your journey. Number 2. Choosing a purpose solely based on money or status. Look, we all want to make it rain like Lil Wayne, but choosing your purpose solely based on money and status is like putting a band-aid on a bullet wound. Sure, you might be able to buy a fancy car or a mansion, but will that really bring you true fulfillment? Choose a purpose that aligns with your passions and values, and the money will follow. Now, I give you some tips to avoid choosing a purpose solely based on money or status. Think about the impact you want to make in the world and how you want to contribute to society. This can help you find a purpose that aligns with your values and passions and also provides a sense of fulfillment beyond just financial gain. Instead of just chasing short-term gains, focus on long-term goals that align with your values and passions. This can help you stay committed to your purpose, even when faced with obstacles or setbacks. And finally, number one. Focusing too much on finding a single purpose. Finding your one true purpose in life is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Instead of putting all your eggs in one basket, explore different interests and experiences, even if they seem unrelated. Who knows, 
Maybe your purpose is to become a professional cheese taster. The world is your oyster. So, what can you do instead? Here are a few ideas. You are a complex and multifaceted individual with many interests, passions, and talents. Embrace your multidimensional nature and explore all of your interests and passions. As you grow and change throughout your life, your interests and passions may also evolve. Allow yourself the freedom to explore new opportunities and interests without feeling like you need to be tied to a single purpose. Life is made up of small moments that can be just as meaningful and fulfilling as larger ones. Look for purpose and meaning in the small things, such as spending time with loved ones, helping others, or pursuing a hobby you enjoy. Instead of just focusing on finding a single purpose, focus on personal growth and development. This can involve setting personal goals, learning new skills, and taking time for self-reflection and introspection. So, there you have it, folks, the top 5 worst ways to find your purpose in life. But in all seriousness, finding your purpose is a journey, not a destination. It takes time, effort, and a willingness to explore new things. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful and fun content.